Hey guys, Sally here, and welcome back to some more Honkai Star Rare. It's finally time. Fushwan and Lynx are out. We have 19 tickets, 22,702 jades. Can we get Fushwan and Lynx early? That would be a no for Fushwan. Can we get Lynx? Because apparently Lynx is a really good healer. Better than Natasha at E0. Apparently. But at E6, apparently she's also better than Bayou. Well, her skills technically uh, get better at E6. Making her much more useful. Hello, Pela. If, if I'm getting Pela on the first 10 shot... This is not gonna go well. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I need more copies left for the max her out, but... I don't really want to. Oh, wait, but I need to... I need, uh, I need to keep track of how many I've done. Okay, so we were at 16. This is now 36. All right, completely and utterly forgot to actually do that. And yes, I am recording. And we got a light cone. This really is not gonna go well, is it? Two ten shots in and we already got stuff that we don't need. And they're both not links. 46. Game. Can you please give me links so I can at least have one of the two I need? Thank you! Well, we got our healer. We just need our tank now. So this is 46? I honestly... I, I think it's 46, but at the same time... I got distracted with actually getting links, and now I'm questioning myself. But either way, we got links. Now we just need to get her about, what is it, six more times for E6? Hopefully, we don't go that far into getting Fushwan, all right? <laughs> 56. Uh, it looks like we're definitely digging deep for this. Like, Silver Wolf being in the 40s? Okay, now that's even worse. I didn't even realize Hook was on this banner. So, Silver Wolf is 41. And we're into 56 right now, and we've gotten no 5-star. The highest we've ever got taken to get a 5-star was Kafka at 83. Eh, got another copy of Dance Dance Dance. I guess that's fine. Ironically enough that I get that one with Hook. 66, let's go. Fushwan, please come home. No? Can we at least get another copy of Lynx, please? Thing is how she'll be in my main team's healer. I'd like her to have, you know, extra copies. Please? Halo is not someone I wanted game. All right, Fushwan, if you come home right now, I'll get a display of you. If you come home twice in this 10 shot, I'll get an NSFW one of you. <laughs> We're looking for that shield. We 
We got Fushman. We won the 50-50, all right. Well, this kind of sucks. I got Fushman, but I only got one copy of Lynx. You know what? Just for the hell of it, let's do one more 10 shot and see what happens. Can we get a back to back? I will never get a back to back in this game. Like, really? No back to backs at all. Can I at least get links? Thank you, that's what I wanted. That's not necessarily what I wanted. That's wrong preservation. Watch this in Unveda, right? Yeah, she's not. It's Pela and Hook with links. One more, just for the hell of it. Nope. Come on, Lynx! This is the final tension I'm doing. Can I at least get you E2? Hook, why? Bad hook. Bad. Okay. I needed no one to quit. But that's this time. Okay, look, see, yeah. I'm, I'm done. Because I need to save for the next banner. I don't know how many I've done so far. I'm going to have to come back later when I'm not as tired and, you know, count this up. So let's see, I was at 79, I got her, then I got... This is what, three to four more 10 shots? So we're arguably around for the 40 mark. Close enough to getting our next... Five star? All right. I tried to pull the system. I tried it. I tried to pull the system. Okay, no. Seriously, this... This is what happens when I'm tired. I do stupid stuff like this. Can I at least get one more Lynx? Please. Pela is not Lynx. Please. Double four star. Character four star. Oh, wait, whatever game. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> you just like screwing me over, don't you? How dare you? I still have to do in Babata Lune and Luca's, uh, their companion missions. And now we also have Lynx and March 7th's companion missions. Now, let's put our new gang team members onto the party. I can't believe I'm going to be doing this, mind you. It's been way too long, and I've had them in this party for so long. Veronia, I'm sorry. I'm, I, 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 I'm really, really sorry. Alright, Silverwolf, switch with Veronia. Zere. Do it in this order. I want a Fushuan out front. All right, Fushuan's up front. And then Lynx, you replace Natasha. And there it is, our full quantum team. Oh boy. Now, details. Fushman. I don't know what your light cones are. I'm not even going to bother with this. Let's just see how far I can take you. Okay, you're, you're these. 
Oh, wow, that's a lot of money. Watch that, it could just fly away instantly. Also, the reason why I kind of want to keep pulling for Fushuan. Optimus Felix. If any team member is struck by a killing blow while Matrix of Prescience is active, then all allies who were struck by a killing blow during this action will not be knocked down and 70% of their max HP is immediately restored. This literally could save us from an entire team wipe if she at least lives. Like, wow. I, I kind of really want her. Well, either way, what do we get for this? When healing allies with HP equal to or lower than 50%, Lynx's outgoing healing increases by 20%. This effect also works on continuous healing. Noon of Portable. A target with survival response can resist the buff application for one time. So, four would be when a survival response is at gain, the increased target's attack by an amount equal to 3% of Lynx's max HP for one turn. Dang. Wait, Lynx is over the threshold? You guys are seeing this, right? Lynx is over the threshold? Huh. I thought Lynx was a lot younger than that. Apparently not. Because as you know... Well, either way, additionally boost max HP, d uh, increase of survival response. Find money with 6% of Lynx's max HP and increase the effect resilience by 30%. But yeah, see, this right here... If we go, say, to... Hook... Obviously, Hook is just Hook. She still has her clothes. Pela doesn't. I've never actually noticed that. Uh, Herta doesn't. So yeah, only the Chibi Chibi actually has their clothes on. That's actually something new I've learned. I swear I thought Lynx was gonna have n n some clothes on, no? Her E6, she ain't got nothing on. Either way, I'm really highly depressed over the fact that I got absolutely nothing but only two copies of Lynx. That is so depressing. Because, again, she's going to be my main team's healer, so having her, you know, have the best bang for her buck would be really nice. But sadly, the game didn't want me to have any more copies of Lynx. I might go do two more 10 shots just to see if I can get a Lynx copy or two. Even though I know I shouldn't. But let's just say this. If I get, if I were to get a, an extra copy of Fushuan, that wouldn't be bad. Kind of. Because Fushuan, Fushuan would be one of my main party members. And the other one that I want after her would arguably not be in the main party. She'd be a secondary party that I'd have to start trying to create a team around. But I could arguably do it. Okay, ascend... Level up. I'm not gonna level you up all the way, so... I don't like the fact that I can't hold this down. I'll be right back. Oh, look at that. She's, she opened up her thermos. Alright, she's almost there. But she can get the rest of the way by just fighting enemies. Hey, it's, it's not letting me see her cook the fish. What the heck? Okay, that was not a cool game. It wouldn't let me. Whatever. Okay. Now, Fush One. Let's get you up. And I will get you to level 80. Mainly because you're my tank and I need you to have all the stats you can possibly have.
Okay, I miscounted how many of these I actually needed. Whoops. Hey yo, uh, Omnisynthesizer. I need about, I need 15 of these. That's not worth it. That's not worth it. Okay, I'm gonna have to grind those. Whatever, fine. I won't get Fushuan all the way up. Okay, I think this is around 50 something now. I didn't mean to skip the entire 10 shot, but we got another copy of Lynx. And you know what? I think I'm going to call it there. Because I, I got her E2. That's technically all I wanted. Technically. Because now the target with survival response can resist debuff application for one turn. It honestly doesn't really matter if we have the impressions thing activated. But yeah, I might think about pulling more copies of her. If we can actually, you know, do something. Because here, here's the thing. What was Fushuan's first one? If I accidentally get her again? The knowledge effect increases crit damage by 30%. What's the knowledge effect? Which is something I obviously am lacking completely in real life. Uh... Matrix suppressions will distribute 65% of damage. While affected by matrix suppressions, all team members gain a knowledge effect which increases their max respective HP by 5.2%. Oh, wait. Wait. During depressions? Is that crit damage or crit? 30% increased crit damage. Meaning that while Zere has that up, her damage goes up by 30% more than it already currently is. I'm gonna gamble one more 10 shot. Nope, I didn't get her. All right. If I can get one more copy of Lynx, that's fine. If I can't, I'm done. I am so done. I'm in, I'm as close as I possibly can to getting the next five star. March, why? I like you, but I'm starting to hate you right now. I needed Lynx. Yep, yep, March, I like you, but I'm also starting to really hate you. I don't know where I'm at. I'm going to stop. She's E2. I'm very close to the next 50-50. Having Fushuan at E1 would be nice, because that 30% damage increase, whenever knowledge is on Zere... Her damage, her percentage goes up by 30% for a crit, right? Uh, Zare's natural crit damage currently is 150. That would go up to 180% crit damage for Zare when she has knowledge on. That mm -hmm. <laughs> actually sounds really, really nice. Well, either way, here's Lynx. Very nice. Just max enemies with her ice pick. <laughs> and Fushuan. What the? Oh. She hits enemies at, the, at range. Okay. Now here's another really nice thing about Fushuan. Where's an enemy? Uh, uh, 
Dang it, I killed him after he said, didn't I? Yeah, I did. When you use her ability... Uh, you can tell I haven't done this in a while. I literally don't come here that often. Literally. So much so that I'm missing a book. I'm probably missing a lot here. Either way, if you use her ability, the best part is you can actually skip and just run past a lot of enemies now. If you just want to get to, you know, a story and skip enemies during main questline stuff, you actually can. Dude, why is it a ghost town? I didn't, I did not kill every single enemy here. I did not. Finally. So yeah. Attack me. Come on. Come on. Go for it. It won't work. You don't, you don't take any damage. You don't go into combat. And now, presence is activated instantly in the battle. We don't have 30% increased crit damage, mind you, but... That's fine. But either way... Silver Wolf! Ooh, there's her heal! Silver Wolf can finally... Apply just quantum to the enemy, which is very nice. Quantum. Oh yeah, I, oh, but I need I need to actually put the gear. That's why uh, they're taking so much. Hey, yo, Link, can you go? Yeah, yeah. Albeit it was kind of dumb for me to go into battle without actually putting any gear onto both of them. But hey, apparently I love living on the edge when I'm extremely tired. <laughs> apparently I love living on the edge when I'm tired. I have no clue why. Either way. Would that have gone faster with, you know, Bronia? Oh, definitely, because then she would have been able to push, you know, Zere forward and give her more turns. Either way, which one's pretty interesting. I want that 30% crit damage, but I need to save for the other character because I'm not a whale, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't... Why did I come here? Why, why did I just do that? <laughs> I meant to go to characters, but my heart and mind after saying that was like, you need to pull again and get that 30% crit damage for Zere whenever she has the knowledge buff on. Now, anyone want to take a guess? We were at, over, at around 4,000 something HP before. What are we at right now? 6,333! Jesus! And she's not even level 80 yet! And she only has a level 60 light coat! <laughs> Alright... Well, our Fushwan is pretty much set for now. Now we need our girl Lynx's gear! And there we go. Lynx is now done. She has 4,685 HP. It's pretty nice. It's very, very pretty nice. I'll also take these Star Rail Passes. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use these anymore until Lynx goes into the standard banner pool. And hopefully I get more copies of Lynx from there. Because I arguably cannot pull anymore. Otherwise, I risk getting another 5-star, and if it's Fushuan, that's nice. And if I don't get a fi Fushuan 5-star, then arguably speaking... That sucks, but at the same time, then I have the next one guaranteed. 
But if I do get her, then I don't get the five star. Next time, I'm screwed. That's the problem. I'm not. I'm not a whale by any means in this game. I've gotten a few battle passes. Uh, technically, by a few, I mean I got them all that have currently come out. And uh, every month I've done the uh, monthly thing as well. That's about all I've done. Either way. Now, Bushwan has a lot of HP. <laughs> Far more than I thought that anyone in my current team would actually be able to have. <laughs> but now... Oh yeah, support. If anyone wants to use my Fushwan, uh, go blaze profile, place Kafka, or Fushwan, I'll place my profile picture, put it as links. Now, I already know that Bronia, you know, is not all that great in terms of my relic score right now. So I'm just gonna take her out since she's not, you know, in my party. And put links. Full quantum, alright. Oh yeah, you're like Cone. Increases the wearer's max HP by 24% and energy regeneration rate by 12%. When the wearer's HP is reduced, all allies' da damage dealt increases by 9%, lasting for two turns. At the start of every wave, restores HP to all allies by an amount equal to 80% of their respective lost HP. This light cone is overpowered, mind you. I mean, it sounds overpowered. It looks overpowered. Do I, do I want it, kind of? Because Fish One's probably definitely going to be my mainstay on for a long time. Unless someone else comes out that's better, or arguably I want to swap to just, you know, try someone new. Other than that, she'd be here for a long time. And I like how it would work on many other people, but hey, I don't have enough jades for that. I made sure of that when I stupidly kept pulling for trying to get links. Either way. Uh, let's see. I need to... Get more of these. So let's go and fight this enemy. And see what our team currently can do against it. Oh yeah, and she's only level 70 as well. So with her ascendancy isn't going up in level, she might reach 7,000 something HP. I'm gonna love that. Start. Go team, go! ガッツンとクリアしていこう。2倍速で。こんなもん。やっ。はい。消化 <笑> That attack the ape just didn't usually dealt a lot of damage. It it didn't even tickle Fushwan now. I've been waiting a long, long time to have a full bottle of quantum tea. And man, does it feel nice right now. That's five nails. Two more to go. Obviously, I won't show this. All right. She can now go up to level 80. She is now level 80. 
6,817 HP. If her light cone was maxed out, she'd be over 7,000. It's not bad. Oh yeah, I need to get this. Uh, can I? Do I have any greens? This isn't enough. I'm sorely disappointed in my grinding potential in this game. I knew I needed these. I just arguably didn't know how much. I should have known. I have one. Do I need five? I need eight. That's not enough. Dang it. Well, either way, we're gonna do something that I want to try. I've never bothered with five because it took too long. How well can we survive underpowered in five? Then I'm gonna end things off. I can definitely say that this is doable. Fish one's really tanky. And when Lynx makes the enemies attack Fish one, we're able to do it. <laughs> I mean, arguably, it was never about if I couldn't do it, it's just that it took way too long. This still took way too long, obviously. But we're underpowered. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just underpowered and this is more not this is a regular team comp. I don't have full damage. Xander is the only one that can deal damage currently on this team. Which one re can't really She does more damage I believe the higher her HP is though. Links, yeah. She's a healer. And obviously, Silver Wolf is just a support that puts, you know, quantum weakness onto the enemy. So arguably, I only have one real damage dealer in my team. <laughs> but either way, 4 minutes 36 seconds? It's not bad. I mean, it could be better, but it's not bad. For a fight that takes, you know, just way too long anyways. 
we managed to actually pull that off. And I was about to say, let's have a victory 10 shot, but that ain't happening. That's, it's not. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of that as well, trying out a character. I, I completely forgot to try, you know, in Babadu Lunai just for the 20 jades, so I missed out on that. It sucks, but it's only 20. It's not that bad. Plus I got 50 from a, what, what? What was it, the code that they gave us? So let's just say I lost 20 and I still gained 30, so whatever. It's it's perfectly fine. I need to do simulate the universe, but what I need to do is edit this and then upload it. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, where we will be doing either Imbaba de Lune, Luca, links or marches companion missions because i currently have nothing else to do in the game i've pulled i've cried at how many it actually took how many i've actually done i have no clue i literally lost count i should be around 50 to 60 maybe in terms of 10 shots towards the next character I want. Sadly though, am I gonna get her? Probably not. I somehow got through Schwann, which I'm happy about. My team has now fully come together, kind of, minus the gear, which I need. Still on Zere to this day, I cannot get the chess piece I need for Zere. Like, seriously, I still can't get this. Or the uh, Tycheon Laser Stadium Orb. I literally can't. I need it in quantum damage. With attack, attack, percent, and crit damage. And I needed to roll high on crit damage. Like, I, I can't. This one was quantum, but it's just defense. And none of these other ones I've at least have noticed were quantum. Like, Zene is screwed because I can't get any decent drops. Albeit, yes, I could potentially use one of those items to give me the stat I want. Does it matter though? No? Seeing as how I'm gonna need those for other characters anyways. I've already gone this deep, I might as well try to finish it grinding away. Which obviously is not happening. Yeah, only other one I have is just Quantum with HP, that sucks. Either way, chess piece. I need crit rate on her chest piece. Did they change that? Do I no, no longer need crit rate? Something tells me I still need crit rate as her chest piece. Technically, I could have crit damage if my crit rate is high enough. Which is not. Also, I don't like the fact that they dropped her from, you know... S++. Yeah, yeah, I don't like the fact that they dropped it from S plus down to S. Why? Why they gotta do that to my girl Zere? No. Pride win, why? But yeah, uh, crit. Crit rate. No crit damage. Crit rate. No attack. And no crit damage. Crit damage. No crit rate. Crit damage, <laughs> no crit rate. Like none of these have the exact combo that I actually freaking need for Zere. I would prefer to have a crit damage chess piece with, you know, rolling high into crit rates. 
Because arguably that would still work. Because that would still put me at around over the 50 cap. Well, over the 50, uh, percent. Like, come on, man. Is there something I've missed? I'm hoping there's something I've actually missed, but obviously I'm not freaking seeing it. Because of how bad my luck is with this crap. Come on, man. Crit di just give me crit damage. Attack. If this rolls, crit rate, I'm set. Please. Crit rate. Flat attack. That would have been great if that had also had a crit rate on it. And now I lost my place in where I was with all of these. Fantastic. <laughs> Attack percent. Can he roll crit rate? Defense. No, you cannot. Come on, man. This is nuts. Literally nothing. Oh my god. Then look at that HP, but crit rate, crit damage. Uh, oh my god. HP, HP. Attack percent, crit damage. Like. I feel like I'm so unlucky with these, it's not even funny. I'm literally losing my mind. Like, it's insane how bad my luck is for these chess pieces. I still haven't gotten them. Which is why I'm far behind on grinding for the other materials for Fushuan and Lynx. I've been trying so hard to get a freaking chess piece, but nothing's working. Like, my god. And obviously, she still needs a full set, right? Yeah. Genius, obviously, is still the best. Oh, my god. You know, if I wasn't dumb and didn't accidentally, you know buy more of these tickets like I didn't show it I meant to I just completely forgot to and now there's literally no point I was tired and I bought these tickets you know stupidly I, I thought it was on here but I obviously was not and so I ended up buying, I think, 10. Which was so stupid. So yeah, eventually, I could buy Jepard's Light Cone. Which is moment of victory right here. And this is what it does. Chris Ware's defense with 24% effect hit rate by 24%. When a wearer is attacked, increase their defense by an extra 24% until the end of the wearer's turn. Like... It's a decent light cone. It's nowhere near as good as Fushuan's is. For her. Which makes me really want it, but at the same time I've never once pulled for a light cone and I don't want to start now. Even though I probably should at this point. So either way... Now with that, I'm going to be ending this episode of pulling Fushuan and then getting somewhat, you know, annoyed at the fact that I still don't have Zeta's, you know, chess piece or an orb for her. And it's been so, so long. It's so annoying. 
Either way, till then I will see you guys later. Okay, now I just got a little bit of an update before I actually finish editing this completely. Fushwan now has a max cap HP of 9,133. Her attack is 1,694. Defense is also 1,575. Crit rate is 41.5 and 62.9% crit damage, which isn't all that impressive. But either way, I've literally am getting closer and closer to 10,000 HP, and I love it. Sadly, I don't think I can go any higher right now. But either way, she doesn't die. Like after ever since I got Fushwan and Lynx, my team does not die. Albeit I haven't attempted Memory of Chaos because yeah, I don't want to do it. I should do it, but I haven't wanted to. And the week reset again, so I don't really care to try to do it right now. Either way, her HP is really great. Lynx also has 5,116. It's pretty decent. We're, we're pretty much capped on everything. Which is very nice. Now, warp. She's gone. We have 12,912 jades. And you know where all this is going? Jing Liu. She's coming out in five hours and 44 minutes from when I'm recording this right now. So yeah, when she comes out, I'm gonna pull for her, and then I'll show me pulling for her. Hopefully we get her, you know, early. Hopefully, because you know, we did all those extra pulls on Fushpon's banner to try to get more lynxes. Didn't really go as planned. But either way, if we can get Xing Liu, I've been grinding all of the materials for her. It's just, I don't currently know what gear I would need for her. And if there's any actual, like, mainline story in 1.4, which there should be, because 1.2 had new story, right? Either way, I'm hoping there's new story. If there's not, that's going to be really sad. But whatever comes out that, you know, has voice acting in it, I'll attempt to do with Jing Liu. If I get her, I should have enough to guarantee her. Should. Because we're currently one ten shot, I think, from getting a five star. If we're unlucky. If we can get her, I'll be very happy. Then I can move on with my life, because I don't think I'm going to have enough of Topaz after that. Either way, the patch is coming out, Fushwan is stacked, my team doesn't die, it's fantastic, I love it. The best thing that I did in this game was pulling for Fushwan and Lynx. Now, be it do I get, you know, support usages? I mean, I just had 6,000 credits that I claimed before I started recording. I've gotten some uses for Fushuan. Now... Is there a reason to really use a tank? Not really. Unless you're just hard stuck on like a boss. Like the one I just showed. When we didn't have as much HP and stats that we have on Fushuan and Lynx that we do now. Like, it's really great. That's about the only time I can think that you would actually want to use her. Now, if I put Xing Liu as my support, would anyone use her? Because, technically speaking, because of her kid, doesn't she kill her allies? I'm kind of uh, worried about that part. Because then I'm going to have to try to find a team that works around her. Which, arguably speaking, Lynx and Fushuan would work with her, probably. Because as she kills her allies, Fushuan gives her allies more HP, which is nice. She lowers the damage that all of her allies takes and splits it with herself, 
So even if the allies have taken damage from Jing Liu and the enemy, they arguably should live longer. Lynx, obviously, again, can heal really decently well. So I'd say that those two would work for a Jing Liu team. It's just... I, I don't really know who else I could use that would work with her that wouldn't obstruct my Zele team. I really don't know who I could put with her. Obviously, I would put Bronia there to, you know, do that, but at the same time, that would then kill my team faster. So yeah, coming up with a team comp for her is going to be a, a real pain, but either way, before I extend this too long and start talking about Jing Liu in a Fushuan and Lynx episode. I'm gonna end things here and I'll probably gush over Jing Liu and try to figure things out and cutting a lot of it out that I talk about while pulling for Jing Liu. Okay, for, for, for a quick second I thought I didn't do the uh, support, the, the, the stuff. Either way, again, I, I need to do these. I don't know if the game's going down for maintenance. But either way, I, I, I really need to get to doing these. This is like something I can do while I wait for Jing Liu to come out. But first I have to edit and render this episode. So I might have time to do two companion missions. I don't think they disappear. I really don't think they do. That's, that, I'm, I'm partially worried about that, but at the same time it, I'm probably okay. But yeah, either way. Now, I will see you guys later.